What's going on everybody, it's ETA Prime back here again. This is going to be a quick one, but it looks like Intel could definitely be back in the handheld gaming space very soon with their new Meteor Lake CPUs. Recently, a video popped up on YouTube from an electronics expo, and uh, there was a company there that had a handheld powered by Meteor Lake. It was one of Intel's upcoming H variants, and we're not exactly sure which one it was. Now, they'll do the uh, H and the i5, the i7, and possibly the i9. I don't think it's the i9. And unfortunately, the original poster of that video actually took it down. But luckily, over on Hot Hardware, they did get some screen captures. If you're interested in checking out their full article, I'll leave a link for it in the description. But this looks very promising. When it comes to Intel's upcoming Meteor Lake CPUs, we're actually going to get some really decent ARC graphics. There have been a few people out there that have been able to test some of the higher-end i7s and even i9s, stating that, yeah, you can play games on it, medium settings, 1080p, you don't need a GPU, you can use those built-in graphics. And if we take a look at the spec sheet they have listed with the Mdor handheld we're talking about here, for the CPU Intel Meteor Lake H, 20 to 35 watts. And they're talking about TDP here, so that's not total system draw with the uh, screen, speakers, and everything else built into the handheld. So obviously, it's going to need a pretty decent battery if we're going to be running this at 20 to 35 continuously. This thing also had an 8-inch display, up to 32 gigabytes of RAM, M.2 SSD. On the bottom here, it looks like we've got a micro SD card, 3.5 millimeter audio jack, and a full-size USB port. Round back kickstand, couple extra buttons. Up top, we've got our ventilation for that CPU. No benchmarks have been posted for this handheld or anything like that, but I think what we're going to be seeing here is something very similar to the A380 ARC GPU. The desktop variant of the A380 runs at up to 75 watts. It's got a uh, maximum clock of 2000 megahertz. They'll definitely have to cut that down, and, you know, shrinking that die is going to help out. But from the information that's kind of been leaked out right now about the iGPU in Meteor Lake, compared to older Iris Xe graphics, two times performance per watt, which will definitely help out with battery life if we're looking at, you know, thin and light laptops and especially handhelds. And Intel has also released a little bit of information about these new graphics. We're not exactly sure if we're going to have a few different models of them, but what we're seeing right now is AXE cores, 128 vector engines, two geometry pipelines, eight samplers, four pixel backends, and eight ray tracing units. This looks very similar to A380 right now. Heading over to the Intel Arc A380 webpage, uh, scrolling down a bit, you can see eight XE cores, two render slices, eight ray tracing units, 128 vector engines. Graphics clock up to 2000 megahertz, but like I mentioned, this is the desktop variant, so it does run it up to 75 watts. And I've actually done quite a bit of testing with this. I've made a couple videos showing off performance with the A380. And overall performance really isn't that bad. I could kind of compare it to an RTX 3050. And, you know, saying that for a desktop GPU doesn't mean much. But if they could get these integrated graphics on par with something like an RTX 3050, we would see some really awesome performance out of these new Intel-based handhelds. But yeah, we don't have much more information, and uh, Intel is actually set for, I think, December 17th to have kind of a press conference releasing Meteor Lake, showing off everything that they've done with it, what kind of CPUs we can expect. And by then, I think we will see a couple other manufacturers come out of the woodwork that have been kind of testing these Meteor Lakes in the handhelds. If any more major information comes to light, I will post it up on my community section, but I'd like to know from you. If Intel came to the market with a good Meteor Lake chip that we could run it, let's say 20 watts, get the same kind of performance that an RTX 3050 puts out inside of a handheld, would you be interested in swapping over from an AMD handheld to an Intel handheld? Let us know in the comments below. But yeah, I'm actually really excited about this and I can't wait till they make the official announcement. I'd love to see what manufacturers have been doing in the background with uh, thin and light laptops using these new Meteor Lake chips and especially handheld gaming devices. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.